Hello once again folks. Welcome to this episode of the Profit Easy One. I'm here to give you some things to help you from this coronavirus. You know, here, let me share a couple of scriptures with you first. First, let's go to Ezekiel. It says Ezekiel 47, 12. Fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they will bear fruit because the water from the sanctuary flows to them. Their fruit will serve for meat and their leaves for healing. Okay, now let's go to Revelation. Let's go to Revelation 22 too. Let me go to, uh, I want to go to the King James Version. In the middle of a street, now this would be in heaven, but these things already are here on the earth. In the middle of the street, and on either side of the river was a tree of life, which bore 12 fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. Now, this tree of life was in the Garden of Eden, along with all kinds of plants. And see, God has given us these plants, these leaves of the trees are made for healing. Over 85% of our pharmaceuticals are derived from herbs, yet the herbs are safer and more effective 93% of the time. And people, I don't want you suffering and dying from this flu. And naturally, God doesn't want his people dying and suffering from this flu. So what I've done, I put together a kit. I'm going to call it the Kung Flu Kit to knock that flu right on out. Now, I'm actually going to call it the Corona Kit. You can call it the Kung Flu Kit if you want. Because this thing is designed to help your body to knock this flu out. Because the only way to get rid of these this flu, the doctors can't give you a shot or a pill or anything that's going to help you. Your own immune system has to do it. So I'm going to give you some herbs that are going to help you both to, to knock out the virus to help your body to knock it out, and some herbs to help your lungs. Because the way that this virus kills you, it, you know, it gives you pneumonia, and you die because all this fluid builds up and you can't get oxygen throughout your body, and it'll kill you. So here's what I've done. I've taken a, a bunch of these tea bags, and I put the herbs in them. And here's what you'll get in this kit. This is a Kung Flu kit. You're going to get five tea bags of the herb that's good for your lungs. Now, I cover that in another video. I'm going to keep this short. I'm not going to cover it here. If you want to see it, go and see my other videos. And you're also going to get 10 bags of this immune builder. And, folks, I cannot more highly recommend it. You're not going to get anything at the drugstore or from the pharmacist it's going to do you more good than what these will to get rid of the flu now you can go out and buy you some theraflu or nyquil or one of those things that like it'll tell you right on them they cover the symptoms what i'm going to give you it isn't here to cover the symptoms it's to help your body to cure the problem so this is what you get like i said you'll get 10 bags of what i what's called cold comfort you can see that in my video where I break down what's in it and what the things in there do for you. And you're going to get five bags of the Breath of Life tea, which is, I, I cover that in the video too, I believe, and I cover what's in it. I'm not sure if I do. Maybe not. If not, I will put one up. But these things are going to help you with the flu better than anything you can get. And for the cost of... Uh, if you went to buy some Theraflu and NyQuil, it would cost you a whole lot more than this. And you're going to have to go into the store and get it. And uh, I was looking around here uh, on the Internet just a little while ago. A lot of the stores here are, are running low on it, but it's not going to help you. Now, I want to tell you a story. It was the uh, the 2003 SARS virus. Uh, virus. I, I came up to North Florida to visit my parents. It was my mother, father, and sister were there. They all had that flu. 
I, I was warned by my sister, oh, you're going to get it too. And I said, no, I won't. And they were saying, yes, you will. And, and of course, my immune system was still very weak at the time because of uh, the arsenic poisoning. Well, sure enough, I got it. You know, it only took a, a day or two and I had it too. So I went ahead and made a half gallon of this tea and put it in the fridge. And I told them all they should be drinking it. No. They were doing their NyQuil and their TheraFlu, and they were all, they were sick. They were definitely sick. I drank the tea. The, the third day, I was fine. And meanwhile, I watched them. They were still sick for another week. And I was fine. I kept telling them, drink the tea. They didn't do it. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't do it, and you want to do TheraFlu flu and NyQuil and all that, go ahead. Go ahead. Just cover them symptoms. Yeah. And to go ahead and let that virus kill you. So, folks, I cannot more strongly recommend anything more to you than these things. And I'm here to help you. Now, I do have a PayPal account set up now. You can put it into to my name. Hopefully, I won't forget to uh, put my email address in there. And you can send the money PayPal and, and leave me your address. And I'll be sure to get the stuff out to you right away. Now, right now, I do have a fairly limited supply. And I also have a, a limited supply of these tea bags. Uh, if I do run out, I will still send you the herbs. Maybe I have to put it in small plastic bags. And you'll just have to make it a different way, either with a tea ball or just make it in the water and strain it. And uh, basically, all you have to do with these is get some water. You don't want it boiling because especially with this one, it's got echinacea in it. You know, many compounds... Uh, you take alcohol. Now, water is going to boil at 212. <laughs> if you put alcohol, uh, it's going to boil at probably in 190 some degrees or just over that. But it's going to boil at much less than 212. And if you put this in boiling water, you can see all these little bubbles come up because some of those compounds have broken down just like the alcohol would. So what you're going to need to do is get the water extremely hot. You know, you can get it to where you have little bubbles starting in your pot, or you can put the water in the microwave and heat it up. Do not put these in the microwave with the water. Heat the water up, put the tea bag in there, mix it around, you know, keep messing with it a good bit, and uh, let it steep for 10 minutes at least, 10 to 12 minutes. If the water's that hot, it's going to be 10 or 12 minutes before you can drink it. Now, I also do have this in larger bags, which I, is in the other video. But I've made these as individual kits for an individual person because you're not going to need that large bag. Those large bags are enough to cover, shoot, probably eight or ten people. So I've set these up in these kits. And what I'm going to do, including shipping within the continental United States, I will... I will mail you the kit. I want to keep it cheap for you. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to round it out to... I'm going to give it to you for $18, not $20. I'm going to give it to you for $18 because I want you all to have this stuff. I want you all to be safe. Yes, I don't want you fearing this virus. I don't fear it because I have these herbs and I've used them before. And I'm going to have... Hopefully, if I can get in touch with a couple of these people, I'm going to have more testimonials from people who will tell you. I don't want you to just hear it from me. I want you to hear this from other people. Uh, like, uh, for instance, this guy, Joe, uh, and I know he's still in the area because I talked to a, a mutual friend of ours the other day. And he'll be able to tell you how that when the SARS one was out, his son had got it. And I've mentioned this in another video, but I'm going to mention it here. And what happened is uh, he was very concerned because, you know, those things can kill you just like this one. And it's going to kill millions and millions of people around the world. I have a videos covering that and about the Spanish flu. And what happened is he was very scared. And the doctors had told him they gave antibiotics for a son. The antibiotics not only are not going to get rid of the flu, they're going to weaken your immune system and make it worse. Yes, it's going to make it worse. Don't take antibiotics for the flu. 
Take these probiotics. They cause your body to create more immune cells. That's the only way that you're going to get rid of this flu. And, and what Joe will tell you, he called me very concerned. He said, Raul, do you have any herbs for that? I said, yes, Joe. He says, the doctor has told me that everybody else in the house is going to get it because that's what happens. You get around people that have it, you're going to get it. And I said, Joe, and he was very concerned because his elderly mother-in-law was living with him. And I said, Joe, now, if you, you take this, you drink two cups of tea a day, and the rest of the family's not going to get it. And sure enough, none of them got it. Okay. None of them got it. And like I said, I will try sometime this week to get with him and do a little interview. You know, it's not easy for me. I have so many things to do. And, and even doing these takes so much time and because I don't have internet at home, even tonight. I'm going to have to leave here and go to, uh, to Denny's to upload it. And I, I don't like to keep going there to do these things because uh, that's a great place to go get the virus. But, and I want to, I want to caution you on some things too, you know, People are worried about uh, handing money because the virus can be on there. Well, you know, you can go to the drugstore or the grocery store, and when you put your, your little card into that machine, you got to click in those buttons to put in your account number or your passcode. Hey, if that person, a, a few people ahead of you, had been in a store, <coughs> coughed in their hands, and they go pushing them buttons, and then you come behind and you push those buttons, you're going to get it on your fingers. Now, viruses, it's not easy for them to get into your skin, especially on your hands, unless you have cuts on your hands. You know, that's the first part of your immune system is your skin. So, but then you go somewhere and your eye itches and you go rub your eye. Uh-oh, you're going to get it. You go home, you make you a sandwich. Uh-oh, you're going to get it. You pick your nose, uh-oh, you're going to get it. So people, be careful to keep your hands away from all your mucous membranes. You know, be sure you wash them, especially if you've been out in public somewhere, because you don't want to be doing those things that will allow it to get into your system. So, all right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to make this short. This is what I got. I think I told you $18. I was going to do these for $20. It's a, it's, I'm going to give them to you for $18 because I want you to have them. And that's going to include shipping. I almost hate to do it for that. Hey, if you want to send $20, go ahead and send $20. That's fine with me. I'm not going to complain. But remember, get this stuff. Kung flu, that virus. Kung flu, that Wuhan virus. Kung flu, that COV-19 or whatever they want to call it. Yeah. Folks, get this stuff, please, for your own safety. Yep. I want to call it safety and security. You know, that's not good terms to use uh, when it comes to when the government tells you that. But I want you to have these things, people. This is a, an individual kit for one person. Uh, like I said, I cannot think of anything better that you could have. Now, I know that my daughter told me, in fact, she's waiting for me to send her some, and I'll be sending her some uh, probably Monday as long as uh, I have these these checks come in or I get what's in my PayPal cleared up. Um, and I'm also sending some to my son because both of them have a bunch of children too. But here's the thing about my daughter. She's for years been into, she's more into essential oils, and some tinctures and stuff, and not into the actual herbs. But I'm glad that she's into those. But her children, who are homeschooled, they all had the cold, as she called it, a couple of weeks ago. And she used certain of the things that she has, and it only took a few days to get rid of it. So see, what you need is things that are going to build your immune system. That's the only way that you're going to get rid of this virus. So go ahead. Like I said, my, my email, I'm going to put in here. If I forget, it's R-A-U-L-T-R-O-C-H-E 1955 at gmail.com. And if you don't have PayPal, then you can send me a check and uh, 
I'll put, hopefully I'll remember to put that address in the description. Like I say, I'm going to have to go up here to Denny's, which I hate to do right now, but I'm going to do it so that I can get this video out to you ASAP before it's too late, before you've already got it, and then it's going to be, it, by the time you get it, then it's it could be too late for you. And the thing about this too, the sooner... When you get the symptoms, the sooner you start taking this, the better it's going to be because that virus is going to not have a chance to multiply in your body so much and your immune system is going to send out all kinds of troops to go fight it. So people, seriously, I can't recommend this more. And I also want to tell you, make sure you pray, you know, pray that you won't be affected by this virus. You know, God says a thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand but that you're not going to be hurt. And this is one way. Remember, this is God's medicine. You know, I can't stress it stronger than that. And also, you need to be reading your Bible because people, we are in the last days. And reading that Bible is essential for salvation. I keep telling people that. And people aren't reading their Bible. I know so many preachers who've been preaching for years have never read the Bible. You got to read it. It's not a big thing to do. You've read all kinds of other books and studied other books for school. You got Jesus said that you were to remain and study until he returns. All right. And the other thing, folks, you need to repent from your sins because if you're out there sinning, even if you're praying, God's going to make the heavens like brass or like bronze he's not going to hear your prayers now everybody sins he's going to hear but if you continue to sin he's going to shut the heavens up to you so folks get out there get on your paypal right now i still have a fairly good supply i will be ordering more as soon as i have the funds available because this is very serious people this is very serious i can't stress it enough all right, that's it. The Prophet Easy One signing out. Folks, please heed my warning. I'm here to help you. You know, God has prophets for the edification of the church. And he says in Romans 2 that basically, when, not Romans 2, Romans 13. I meant Romans also. And I don't want to, I'm not trying to be boastful or anything like this, but God has put people in positions in the church. That's what Romans 13 is about. The government would have you believe it's about the government. It clearly is not. If you think that it is, you need to see my video. Uh, I think it's called They've Been Lying to You About Romans 13. I may have changed the title. I don't know. I'm not going to look it up right now. And I have another video to verify by going back to Romans 12 and on into 13 more. That this is about the hierarchy in the church. And what God says is that basically when you don't listen to those people, that you're basically bringing upon yourself condemnation. Read it or see my video on the subject and you'll see. All right, people. Hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend that you do. Seriously, it's going to do you a lot of good. And I'm going to keep you informed on what's coming because God says he will not allow anything to happen without first revealing it to his servants of prophets. And I am a servant of the Lord. I've, oh, I've been serving the Lord all my life and I've made vows to him. And, you know, he says that his gifts and his callings are without repentance. And he's given me that gift and the calling. And I'm here to help you. I'm here for edification and for a lot of other things, which I won't get into now. I do cover those things in other videos. I'm going to cut this one off now. We're right at about 10, 20 minutes, which is very good because hopefully more people will see this. People, I'm here to help you. All right. That's it.